This is the one time in your life you want to be tacky. I am an eyelash addict. I started wearing falsies about five or six years ago. I started wearing them to work because they just kind of gave that pow. And then I started using them so often, I wanted to wear them on weekends too, otherwise I kind of felt naked. I'm not necessarily going for the natural look all the time. <laughs> I would prefer something that really stood out. Today I'm going to show you how to apply false eyelashes. Now the technique works with natural looking lashes or big, bold falsies. Doesn't matter, same process works with any type of falsies out there. Now, I went through a learning curve. Whether it was getting glue stuck in my eye or you know, you apply them and then I'd pull the applicator away and well, there were the lashes, nothing on my face. They'd be lifting after a couple of minutes, but I finally figured out the, what I consider the perfect process so that they not only look as natural as they can, but so they last all day long. I remember talking to someone once and I was blinking and I could kind of see the lashes waving in the wind. That was so embarrassing. I have two types of false eyelashes that are my go-to. And the first one are the lashes running about five bucks, but really, I can always find a deal. Today, I wanna to tell you about Ardell's new faux mink, or new to me, and then Ardell wispies. The mink are very lightweight, and you can use them quite a while. I'm gonna say at least seven to 10 times, as long as you take care of them properly. Um, <laughs> AKA don't find them uh, on a lampshade somewhere in your bedroom because you forgot to put them up. I like the wispies because I can usually use these four to five times before I have to throw them away. They're thick and long and full, but they look a little bit more natural and they're not as heavy. If you're just starting out with lashes, Ardell number 110 is a great place to start so that you're not like, what's this weighing down on my lashes? Sephora, great lashes, twice the price. You can get seven to 10 wears out of them and bonus, they come with glue. I get Sephora lashes to treat yourself. I find that they're a little easier to maneuver around the lid. Here are the tools you're going to need when applying false eyelashes. You're going to need glue. I like to use tweezers instead of the applicator oftentimes these lashes come with because I find that it's easy to maneuver the lashes and they're just better to work with. You're also going to want a small pair of scissors to trim the lashes and the lashes themselves. That's it, easy enough. Pop it open, you got a little glue here. This glue, I mean, it lasts months. It has a little applicator. I like applicators on glue for a couple of reasons. Number one, you're not going to waste any of the glue. I find that when I actually use the squeeze glue, it goes everywhere. I get it on my finger. I put too much on the lash. And I oftentimes find that I end up putting too much on the lash line so it doesn't dry as quickly or get as tacky, you have it uneven. Anyway, stick with the applicator. It's way easier and you get an even application of glue every single time. And this is duo and oftentimes you'll find it right against the Ardell and it's in a black or brown color. So you're not gonna have to worry about any sort of white showing. Old pair of tweezers, scissors. You have to be able to trim the lashes. You know, our eyes are all different shapes. You wanna make sure that the set of falsies fits your eye perfectly. And since these are typically one size fits all, you're gonna have to do a little bit of tailoring, we'll call it. These are Tweezer Man tweezers. I just find that I can really work very well with these. So skip the plastic applicator that they typically come with. I find that that is much more difficult to use. They're like super wide and it's hard to grasp them and I don't know, maybe I just don't have a lot of dexterity, but my suggestion, I know you probably have an old pair of tweezers laying around somewhere, work with those. Now, let's get these off and start over from the beginning. I kind of glimpsed myself in the mirror. I feel so naked right now, no eyelashes, and I don't have any extensions on either. So this is it. Before you start putting on your falsies, make sure you have done everything. You have put your eyeliner on, you've put your mascara on, you've curled your lashes, then put your mascara on. So that's all complete before you put the falsies on. The falsies are just the icing on the cake. Everything else should be done before you gotta bake the cake before you put icing on it. That's a good example. I would like to say that all falsies are the same, but they're not. Some are easier to work with than others. The minks, take a little more effort. So I decided to show you how to apply those today because I kind of feel up for a challenge. The biggest mistake I make when I'm actually taking the lashes out is being in a rush, which I often am, and pulling them off 
very quickly. This is where the tweezers come in handy. So these are the Mings and they have an invisible band. So that makes them a little more tricky to actually take off. I like to make sure that when I'm actually pulling them off, I get right here at the end on the outside and just really go nice and slowly. Because they are an invisible band, oof, there's not as many adhesion points on this piece of paper. So you wanna make sure you pull off really slowly. Literally looks like just someone cut somebody's eyelashes off and put them on this thin band. So first, you wanna make sure that they fit your, um, your eye. Since not all eyes are the same, thank goodness, we're all different, you need to make sure you measure it, okay? I've been doing this long enough that I normally know how, how much of the lashes I need to cut off. But you can see, you wanna make sure that they're not too long and you really wanna make sure they're not too short. If they're too short, they're not gonna do that nice little half moon and they're gonna have a tendency to pop off closer to the inner corner of your eye. Uh, if you make them too long, they're going to do the same thing, but likely on the outer corner of your eye. And if they're too long too, ooh, and I've done this before, uh, they're going to pinch right on the inside of your eye because every time you blink, uh, until you just wanna pull them off because they're driving you crazy. So trim first, depending on your eyelash. I cut right there. So I'm gonna take off just a little on the corner. So I'm gonna get that glue, that sticky glue stuff off. And then I'm also gonna take just a little bit off the edge. It almost looks like an individual lash. And then I'm gonna to go to the other side and I'm going to cut just a little there, a little bit less. So there I get the plastic on the end and the other lash and we're all good to go. I'm going to go ahead and measure to make sure I've got them cut like I want. Those are gonna be good. They're not gonna to be too long or too short. Whew, these are pretty. Before you go ahead and apply the lashes, I suggest kind of bending them a little bit, get a little bit flexible. I do this to get them ready to be maneuvered onto my eye. So moving them around a little bit. Okay, looks bendy to me. Glue time. I'm going to use the dark glue today because I use a liquid eyeliner, so it blends in just nicely. And remember, the applicator allows you a little more even application. I'm just putting a nice little coat on the top of the lashes. You don't wanna to go too far down with the glue because then they're gonna look funky on your eye. I know this because I've made that mistake before. So don't go on the other side, still stick with the back, but keep it towards the top. Make sure you can see right there, all, all the way to the very end. Maybe even make the ends a little bit thicker because these suckers they really want to flip up. If you apply just a little bit more at the corners, then less of a chance of them popping up. So we got about 20 seconds or so that you wanna make sure the glue gets nice and tacky. This is the one time in your life you wanna be tacky. <laughs> you wanna make sure that your glue is tacky before you apply it or else they're just gonna pop right off. I feel like I need the Jeopardy music. Do, 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 do. Now, you wanna get right above the lash line. I mean, just, ooh, right there. You wanna start by pressing the lashes in the middle and then working your way out. So let me show you. I think I've talked long enough that the lashes are ready. So if you see, I'm putting them right there. I mean, right above. I can't talk for this part, give me a second. So I start by pushing in the middle and then I start pushing towards the inside and then I work to the outside. I typically grab a little bit, like actually physically grab them, which is why I like the tweezers. You have to be soft, but grab them just a little bit and kind of push them back in to the lash line. Because I have gotten so close to the lash line, it's hard to press down, although I can flip the other side and do the same thing here in the middle to make sure they're there. Okay, so you wanna make sure, like you see that little piece at the end? Go back in. Hold it. Whatever you feel comfortable with, if you're just starting to use lashes, you'll probably want to press down with the flat end because I've made the mistake before by using the tweezer end and then pulling them when I, when I bring them away. Then once they're in like that, then you can kind of go back and just really make sure or take the flat end and go back and really make sure that they're on. Bam, check that out. Dry, done, there you go. 
So 20 seconds later, and I've got new eyelashes. Just for fun, since I've talked about the Sephora brand and the Ardell brand, I thought I'd show you both. So now I'm going to apply the Sephora brand of lashes so you can see the difference. They're both mink. They're a little bit different style. These mink lashes are a little bit longer and they don't have the invisible strip. They have a thick black strip. So I'm gonna show you, pull them off. This part always scares me. So they're glued in the corner and then ever so slightly. There we go. Once again, you see how that thick gunky glue, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you don't have that, but we'll cut that, we'll cut that part off. So these are way long. Personally, if I'm going to trim, I like to trim more from the inside than the outside because most eyelashes are contoured and shaped like our natural lashes, so they're gonna be shorter inside and you don't wanna cut all that pretty length off the edge. A little more, okay. Since we're using the Sephora lashes, I'm going to go ahead and use the Sephora glue along with them. So once again, you've got this great easy applicator. Start from the inside. This glue is really easy to work with. I'll be honest with you, it's probably my favorite. Um, even if I'm not buying Sephora lashes, I'll save my Sephora glue. That's all it takes. So when you're putting that much, this thing lasts for months. So the blowing and the waiting begins. Even if you're in a rush, give yourself some time to let these suckers dry or you're gonna be doing it all over again. I forgot to bend these. Ugh. The good thing is they have a nice half moon anyways, but it's kind of too late. Don't forget to bend. Like a Polaroid picture. If you wonder if the glue's tacky enough, see if it has a little pull. See, still a little bit wet. You wanna make sure it takes a second for you to like kinda some little tacky test. You wanna make sure that it's hard to pull away from. Time's up. Starting from the middle again, right there above your lash line. Okay. So I'm grabbing the lash and just sort of pressing in. Going back up top and then going around. Then I'll close and just sort of pat it with the fat end. Okay, Sephora, Ardell. Different brands, different style of lashes. One has a little more natural look. This one has a little more pow. They're both lightweight, easy to apply with the right technique. What do you think? I would likely wear these to work or out to dinner on a Saturday night and perhaps wear these when I go to the gym. No, I'm kidding, <laughs> I wouldn't wear them to the gym. But they do give a little more natural approach if you're afraid of the big, long lashes. Now, I wouldn't start trimming the lashes at the top. That can lead to something that you don't want, kind of like when you were a kid and you would trim your Barbie doll's hair and before you know it, well, Barbie had a bob. Just trim the outside, never the top. I often actually save the case that they come in so I can put them right back in with the glue so I know where they are. There you go, about a dollar a day. I say it's worth it. My biggest piece of advice when doing all of this, allow yourself time. It takes a few extra minutes, but clearly the results pay off. You know, time for the glue to dry, time to make sure they fit properly so they last all day and you don't have that falsely waving in the wind. If you have a lash horror story, <laughs> or if you have a favorite pair of lashes that you love, or another way you like to apply, let me know. I put a link to all of the products I used today in the description box below. Don't forget, if you like what you saw, hit the like button and subscribe for a new video. Have a great week.